Here's a fictitious letter we received just this week. To whom it may concern, I am disgusted with the lack of attention given to so-called minor sports in school. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, the football and basketball teams bask in glory, but what about the poor slobs on the track team? Yeah. Or the wrestling team? Yeah. Or the tennis team? Yeah. No one seems to care. Can't you do something about it? Yeah. Yes, we can do something about it. Yeah. Beyond our control, feels that the problem lies in the lack of promotion of minor sports. There's no excitement, no glamour. To point the way, here is our modest proposal for coverage of minor sports like wrestling. Or tennis. Or varsity monopoly! Now, live from Mishawaka Memorial Coliseum and Rumpus Room, the American Monopoly Association Game of the Week, brought to you by Smooth. The revolutionary new combination hair cream and mouthwash. Only smooth kills hair odor and keeps your tongue in place. Now down to the floor and Lindsay McKay. Hi, hi sports fans, this is Lindsay McKay. And standing beside me is my spotter and cliche man, Dan Ditto. We're standing here at the vast Mishawaka Memorial Coliseum and Rumpus Stream to bring you the World High School Monopoly playoffs between Adamsville and Jacksonville. Dan? Hi sports fans. Yes, we're here in the vast Mishawaka Memorial Coliseum awaiting the high school playoffs between Adamsville and Jacksonville. And now we'll step back as the players take the field. First for tonight, starting for Adamsville is Big Norm Toper. <laughs> Norm's a real crowd pleaser. Lindsay, this Norm's a real crowd pleaser. Norm's a returning letterman, holds an accomplished record for building 19 hotels and four houses in a single game on March 23, 1967. Now here's the visitors. This is Crazy Fingers Cox. First draft choice for the Omaha Elks Pro Monopoly team. And another real crowd pleaser. This Cox is a real crowd pleaser, Lindsay. And here's tonight's banker, Penny Rich. <laughs> this Rich is not a real crowd pleaser, Lindsay. Now we have the traditional passing out of the play money, the selection of game tokens, and now the roll of the dice to see who moves first. A hush falls over the crowd. <laughs> it looks like Adamsville has won the roll. Now here comes the famous Big M cheerleaders to warm up the fans. Yay! One, two, three, give me an M! Yeah. Give me an O! Oh. Give me an N! Yeah. Give me an O! Oh. What have we got? Mo! Oh. Well, you can bet those fans are really warmed up now, Dan. Lindsay, those fans are really warmed up. Play is underway now, sports fans. Adamsville throws the dice. It's a seven. He's moving to chance. Selecting the card. Advance to go, collect $200. What a move. Just listen to the roar of the crowd. Roar! All the fans are settled down now. Let's see that play again. Roar! Well, you can see why this Adamsville team made the cover of Monopoly Illustrated last month. Now play continues as, as Activeville rolls. It's a six. Blah, 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 blah. Hi, sports fans. We're now on our 38th hour of play. Adamsville has been in trouble the last 29 times around the board. All his stocks are mortgaged, and, and he's, big in, he's been big trouble. He rolls. It's a seven. It's boardwalk. Oh, that's it. The game's over. Jackson Adamsville wins. <laughs> Boy, well, this is game for the record books, man. Yeah, record books. Well, that about wraps it up here in the Mishawaka Memorial Coliseum. Adamsville takes it in a game that will undoubtedly go down in history. Dan, anything to say before we sign off? Hi, sports fans. From Mishawaka Memorial Coliseum and Rumpus Room, this has been your AMA Game of the Week, brought to you by Smooth in cream, liquid, or brand new abrasive powder. This is Adam Jackson wishing you good Monopoly.
Beyond our control is just one aspect of South Bend's overall junior achievement program. AM General Corporation wishes to take this opportunity to congratulate all the local junior achievement companies, including our own company. Profiteers, manufacturer of the Information Center, a 16 by 12 inch wall plaque for hanging notes and storing papers. Junior Achievement is business and youth working together to train tomorrow's business leaders. Part of AM General Corporation's involvement with Michiana Youth. Number three! Where it? She's what? Fascinating, fantastic what this younger generation won't do. <laughs> Great. <laughs> finally, finally, the lovely Miss Shapin with her impression of the William Tell Overture, number four. Day's work for these girls. <laughs> well, the suspense mounts as we are about to choose our Miss Nifty for 1960 and 9. Now, remember, if our winner cannot fulfill her duties as Miss Nifty, the first runner up will take over. Now, I'll wait no longer since I know you're all in suspense and waiting. The first runner up is number one, Miss Demeter! <laughs> <laughs> now, now, the crowning moment. A drum roll, please. Thanks. Miss Nifty for 1969 is the lovely Fern Gerber. Yeah. There she is. Oh, Miss Nifty. There she is. A neat ass in the town. She's so sweet. She has no feet. I love you, Miss Nifty. I love you. There she is. Oh, Miss Nifty. There she is. Need her in the time. She. Join us again next year for the Miss Nifty pageant, fully sponsored and paid for by the Fern Gerber School of the Dance. <laughs>